Hey YouTube, this is Faith Void with a small little video talking about the OGX Mini and how easy it is to make one now. You don't even have to solder. So these cool little boards just recently hit the market uh, called the RP2350 USB-A. Uh, Waveshare makes a bunch of these, but there's also a bunch of generic uh, variants on AliExpress, which is what I have here. Uh, it's based off of the Pico 2 chipset, uh, but as you can see, uh, it has both USB-A and USB-C. So the USB-C port goes into your Xbox and the USB-A port goes into your controller. So right now I have a, an Xbox 360 controller a wireless receiver plugged in. Uh, the other end of this here is just your standard old cheapo uh, USB-C to Xbox adapter. So I'll just plug that in right there. The LED will turn red indicating that it detects a controller. Here's my controller. Uh, my battery's dying, but that's okay. Uh, there we go. So as you can see, everything works right off the bat. I'm gonna open up a game real quick, just to show that uh, this does work in game. You're not just gonna be browsing menus with this or anything. That's something I can load real quick. Something I can, I'll load Grand Theft Auto because that's like the least serious game to fuck up in. But, uh, basically, with this little setup, you don't have to do any soldering to have an OGX Mini at all. Literally, all you have to do is just buy the board, flash the OGX Mini firmware. Uh, right now, it's uh, this board isn't supported in the main variation of OGX Mini by Wired Opposite, but two different programmers on the GitHub page are working to add proper RP2350A support. So, uh, within, I assume probably within a month, it'll hit the the mainstream version of uh, of the OGX Mini branch, but there's like two forks that you can download and they both work fine. Uh, my controller's dying, so I'm just gonna wrap this up. You can see, there I am, running around. Uh, so there's only one issue with this specific board that uh, I'm running into, and that's that uh, it's only on my 360 wireless adapter, where vibration doesn't seem to work on this controller. It works fine on my Xbox One controller, it works fine on my 8-bit Doe controller. Uh, it just doesn't seem to work on my wireless 360 controller. But let's see if I can... Uh... I want to hit that guy. Come on. Come on. Let me run over someone. Oh, my controller's dead, so I'm spinning into circles. I should have charged this thing before recording. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. You can build an OGX Mini for like 9 bucks now, and you don't even have to build it. You don't even have to solder it. It's all pre-soldered. Again, all you have to do is flash the firmware, Plug in your controller, plug into your Xbox, and you're done. It literally takes less than five minutes. And then you have a super cheap alternative to use any of your favorite controllers on your Xbox.